I'm Eagle Ambassador John Hyde. This is the six month, 6,000 mile review of the Eagle Z3. The Z3 by Eagle Bicycles is an impressive performance machine. Designed for professional cyclists and enthusiasts alike, it features many of the latest advances in cycling technology. So let's talk about the basics. The Eagle Z series bicycles feature frames made of high modulus carbon fiber. Japanese T700 series carbon fiber by industry leading carbon fiber manufacturer Torre to be exact. It's used in the tail sections and floorings of the Boeing 777, and it's known for its high strength yet modulus elasticity. This means that your Eagle Z carbon frame bicycle is built strong, but it's also built light. So what's the big deal with aero road bikes? It's a good question. Wind resistance or aerodynamic drag represents 70 to 80% of the energy a cyclist will exert when moving a bicycle forward. Basically, you have to push through the air to move forward. The more resistance you have in the way of material that causes drag or makes moving through the air difficult, the more effort you have to exert. The truth about any sort of competitive cycling is that it is a game of numbers, and these numbers are measured in watts expended. It's all about energy efficiency. Aero bikes are more energy efficient and therefore provide a performance advantage when ridden. You can go faster for a longer period of time with less energy used. The Pro Peloton is full of aero road bikes now. The only days that you'll not see aero road bikes on the major tours are the stages with the most climbing. The theory here is, is because it takes more material to make their elongated teardrop shaped tubes, they are heavier than skinny round tube bicycles. The idea is that climbs with grades of anywhere between 5 to 7 percent, weight plays a bigger role in saving precious wattage than aerodynamics. When you consider that with improvements in carbon bike materials and design, this weight difference in many cases is a pound or less. I started questioning this logic, which is one of the things I discussed with the founders of Eagle when I interviewed to become an Eagle ambassador. Case in point, I cycled the full Ocean to Summit Haleakala course on my Eagle Z3. Haleakala is the world's longest continual uphill paved course. It's 36 miles from ocean level to 10,023 feet. I specifically chose the Z3 for its aero features. My gamut was that on a course where the wind can often reach 20 to 30 miles an hour once you clear 8,000 feet and are above the tree line, an aerodynamic bicycle would perform better than a super lightweight bicycle. With an average grade of 7%, Haleakala was the perfect proving ground for the aero bike versus the lightweight bike argument. My theory proved solid. The Z3 handled that climb like a thoroughbred climbing bike. When you look at the overall design of the aero bike, it borrows much of its architecture from the most pure racing machines in the cycling universe, the time trial bike. Time trial bikes, or TT bikes, are singularly focused on providing maximum aerodynamic benefit and pedal response to cyclists on a short course. This short course typically being anywhere from 40 to 80K or 25 to 50 miles. TT bikes are not known for responsive handling, comfort, or ride quality. The aero road bike is a hybrid between the proven speed-oriented architecture of the time trial bike and the more rider-friendly setup of a road racer. TT and aero bikes feature tight geometry with shorter wheelbases. The rear wheels are often tucked into the frame to provide aerodynamic advantage. But this also helps with power transfer. The shorter the chain stays, the less flex you get when you increase pressure to the pedals. This translates into a quicker acceleration response. Another important feature of the time trial or aero road bike is that by reducing the wheelbase, you shorten the frame, meaning that less material is needed to build the frame, keeping the weight down as much as possible. So let's talk about weight for a moment. If you're a professional cyclist thinking about this bike, or if you're an active amateur involved in club racing or the occasional triathlon, it weighs in at the same range as the top shelf bikes by any number of, quote, household recognized brands. Configured as my bike is, with a non-stock seat, crank, bottom bracket, and stem, and including Garmin Vector 2 power meter pedals, which are about twice the weight of standard lightweight racing pedals, my bike weighs in at 17 pounds, 3 ounces. I'm 6 foot 2 inches tall, so I'm riding the largest frame that Eagle makes, which is 59 centimeters. Let's look at what makes the Eagle Z3 a stellar choice for competition or for being king or queen of your local bike path or bike lane. Eagle designed and manufactures the frame, rims, and handlebars for the Z-Series bicycles. 
These three core components form a system of aerodynamics which lends directly to pedaling efficiency and wattage savings. Eagle components are lightweight yet strong and durable. They feature construction with industry-leading ballistic quality carbon fiber. I can attest without any hesitation that these bikes are built tough. My Z has been banged around in ways I honestly don't like to see bicycles treated, and it has held up like a champ. Other than a few minor paint clear coat chips, nothing has caused any structural damage to this bicycle. And this includes thousands of miles of travel by air, car, and van. The Eagle Z3 frame features the industry-leading B-Bright asymmetric bottom bracket set for the Shimano BB86 press fit standard. It also features robust chain stays, which are extremely rigid. This means that the slightest amount of extra force applied to the pedals instantly translates into acceleration. You can feel an immediate response when it's time to sprint. Because Eagle chose the BB86 standard, there are plenty of world-class performance bearing, crank, and chainring options for the Z. I replaced the Shimano bearing set that came standard with the bike for a set of hybrid ceramic steel bearings by Rotor. I also installed a Rotor Flow aerodynamic micro-adjustment spider crank and Rotor Carbon Q-Ring chain rings. This bearing and crank switch out was simple, uncomplicated, and quick. Eagle has created a new frame which features overall architecture, tube shapes, and component integration that rivals the most advanced bicycles available. Each surface of the Z is designed to cheat the wind and save you important wattage. This is where the frame, rims, and bars come together to form a system for aerodynamic advantage without sacrificing handling control or ride quality. So let's talk about these components. Eagle's airfoil shaped carbon aero bars are simply brilliant in how they slice through the air. They provide an extra 4 watt advantage on a 40k ride, but they also feel amazing. They have the perfect balance of shape and functionality with a comfortable drop profile. They also feature a large wide top profile. And it doesn't matter where you need to rest your hands, there's always a comfortable surface available. Add that they feature internal cable routing and integrated computer mount and you've got the perfect cockpit at your fingertips. Eagle Carbon Performance rims have all of the aerodynamic and weight saving features of top shelf rims that cost twice as much. They feature precision, lightweight, straight pull hubs, aerobladed spokes, and a wind-defying toroidal design. Deep dish aero rims are notorious for control issues. If you hit a strong crosswind, some of these rims work like sails. They'll blow you off course, and they'll cost you important wattage through having to fight to keep back on track. These rims have a unique cross-section design which avoids the sail phenomenon. The last feature I'd like to discuss is comfort. The Eagle Z3 is the first performance aero road bike I've been able to ride for more than 25 miles without a sore back or other annoying body aches. This is the first aero road bike I've ridden that didn't make me feel as though I'd been beat up by the road after 50 miles at my best pace. I've actually ridden this bike as long as 6 hours and I've done several hundred mile plus rides on it. I look forward to riding this bike every day. I've talked about what makes this bike an outstanding choice for the cyclist who wants performance without compromising comfort or ride quality, but let's talk about the most surprising aspect of these bikes, their cost. Eagle sells their bikes direct. This means that there's no middleman and there's no retail markup. The model that I ride, the Eagle Z3, also comes equipped with Shimano Ultegra Di2 electronic shifting. And yet, with all the advanced tech found in the design and the construction of the bike, its cost to you is only $3,999.99. So, just to make it simple, round it up a penny, it's $4,000. Likewise, the people at Eagle, based right here in the United States and Florida, are friendly, helpful, and passionate about what they do. Eagle is comprised of professional triathletes and cyclists who are now designing and building bicycles for you. It really is the best of both worlds. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this video has answered your questions regarding why Eagle bicycles are unique and why they should be at the top of your list of bicycles to purchase. For more information, please look them up, www.eaglebicycles.com, and tell them that I sent you. I'm John, Eagle Ambassador, and until next time, hey, why don't you go ride a bike?